What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at a really awesome product that I've been using for the past two months as a laptop replacement experiment. And spoiler, the experiment has gone really, really well. Now this is the UPerfect UDoc X 15.6 Pro. And this has allowed me to really just take my phone with me and of course the UDoc and be able to do all the tasks that I need to do and be able to do it without a whole bunch of tech in my bag. Now, there's a lot to love about the UDoc 15.6 Pro and it has a lot of awesome features. So I just want to go over some of the specs. I'm going to tell you my experience using this. Now, first off, this is really intended to be a DeX accessory, a DeX kind of laptop accessory, but it will work with iPhones. It will work with other Android devices. It's just not going to give you that kind of laptop replacement experience. It's more going to be like that secondary screen. So as long as your other device has a USB-C 3.1 port with display out functionality, you'll be able to use the UDoc here and be able to use it as a secondary screen to get a little bit larger if you're traveling and want to watch movies or whatnot. But for the ultimate experience, you really do need a Samsung device. Now this is my S24 Ultra, but it can work with tablets. So if you do have any Samsung device that's capable of DeX, this is going to work with it. There are a couple of really awesome specs about the UDoc here that I want to let you guys know about. Number one, you can see I have no wires, so this is wireless capable, and it also can wirelessly charge your phone. So if you just place it right here, you're gonna be able to charge your phone as you do work and have it do it wirelessly as well. I like the wireless function. There's a couple issues with it, which I'll get into in just a little bit, but having a wireless function means that if you're out in, say, a park, or you're out in a public area like a train station, I would be super concerned if I had my phone sitting on the table next to me while I was trying to do work. Anyone could just come and rip it and, and run. Now that's the New York state of mind I got. If you're in a nice neighborhood and people don't do that, I'm happy for you, but most people are gonna be worried about thieves. Most people are gonna be worried about someone stealing your device. So being able to connect this wirelessly means I can leave this in my bag, I can leave it in my pocket, and I'll still be able to do all of my work that I need to do on a laptop without having to worry about theft. So I like the wireless function mainly for that purpose. Some of you might say you have a wire. This is a battery pack, so you can charge this up with a battery pack. Again, it's, it's the really ultimate mobile experience. But getting back to some of the specs of the UDoc, again, wirelessly charging your phone, wirelessly connected, and it does have a really nice touchscreen. So here's your touchscreen once again. It's a 10-point touchscreen. The response time on the touch panel is about 20 milliseconds, and it's just about fine for everyday use. Now, are you going to be able to game with it? I'm really not a gamer. I'm not going to pretend I'm a gamer. I've never gamed with this, but if you guys want to game with it, I guess if you have any simplistic type of game, it's going to be just fine. But if you're trying to play like Call of Duty or whatever you guys are playing these days, probably not the best option for you. But it's still a really nice panel. It's a very, very nice panel. Again, I have watched movies, tons of YouTube on it, and I've been really impressed with the panel here. And the screen itself is 15.6 inches. It's a 1080p full HD screen. And the nits are about 250, so it doesn't get super, super bright, but it, it's been enough when I've been at cafes, when I've been again at the train station or just at the park. Anywhere but direct sunlight, this is going to do a really nice job. It also has a blue light filter, so again, really a high-end laptop experience built into such a small, small package. Impressive as the panel is, if battery life doesn't match up, this is not something that you'd be happy with. Now, I'm really glad to tell you guys, now once again, it can be charged with your basic cell phone battery pack. That is absolutely huge, again, for slimming down your tech bag. And just being able to charge it on the go with a small little device is something that I really welcome and I really give you perfect a lot of credit for. But battery life has been very decent. If you want to watch movies, you can get three full movies out of it. So six hours when you watch movies. If you're being more productive, Sometimes we gotta be a little bit more productive, am I right? And using the DeX experience, we'll get about four to five hours. So in my mixed use kind of scenarios, I've been getting about that five hour range, four and a half, five hour range. And again, perfect for commuting, perfect for working at that coffee shop. Overall, it does much better than my big boy gaming laptop over there, which I get about an hour and a half. So I am very, very happy with battery life. Nice aluminum build. So it is pretty light and sturdy as well. Weighs about three and three quarter pounds, so less than four pounds, meaning it's very, very easy to walk around with, very easy to throw in your bag. And it also does have a 360 hinge. So again, if you want to just use it as a secondary screen, if you want to just watch some movies with it, you could go ahead and place it somewhere like that. Or if you're a little bit more, more daring, 
you could go ahead and just use it as as a sort of I don't know what you'd use this as if you wanted a drawer or if you just wanted to do something on a flat surface you could go ahead and do that so the hinge is very sturdy a really nice hinge again it's a nicely built dex experience a nicely built dex laptop experience you also do have some speakers here two watts so these are the speakers right on the top here's your little mouse trackpad with a left and a right button and your keypad as well is right over here now a couple more ports before I tell you about my usage. So we have two USB-C ports. One is for power and one is a fully functional USB-C for audio, video, or any other type of USB-C device that you have. And there's also a mini HDMI port right here. On the other side of the device, here's where you have a couple more ports. So you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You also have a USB-A OTG port there, so you can plug in your, your extra mouse, your extra keyboard, anything like that. There's also a micro SD card slot right over there. And to get started wirelessly, all you have to do is go into your device, click on your DeX option after you connect Bluetooth to it, as you see on the screen here. And it's going to connect wirelessly to the U-Dock, giving you that full DeX experience right on your screen here. There's really just kind of like one issue when it comes to using this wirelessly and it's not really a big deal if you're just kind of doing your thing like work and whatnot. If you use maps, you can pinch to zoom. Again, this has a 10 point multi-touch feature. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Now the problem when you use it wirelessly is you just get a little, little bit of lag. Not all of that much and I'm wondering if it's showing up on camera. Just a tiny, tiny bit. So here we go. I clicked on, clicked on that folder and it took just a tiny little second to open up. Again, it's not a huge deal. It's just something I wanna to bring to your attention. If you're out and about and you're using this wirelessly, number one, it's super cool to do. And number two, it just makes it more convenient not having to plug in some wires. That's really the only issue that I've noticed when I use this wirelessly. Everything else is fine. Everything else works like it should. Matter of fact, let's open up YouTube and see Swipe up to bring up the display here. I like the fact that I can switch over to my S24 Ultra and get a little bit better sound, a little bit more fuller sound. So you perfect. I'd like to see a little bit of an upgraded speaker setup a little bit later on, but it's absolutely fine. I have no qualms with the speaker quality when it comes to just everyday use and whatnot. So again, this is the wireless function. I think it's really cool. Now let's go ahead and switch to the wired edition. And let me just, let me just kind of get rid of decks on that. And once you've set it up, guys, again, very simple. Once you plug this in, it's going to just go ahead and start up DeX. So I'm going to place that right on the side here. And then we're going to open up the Google folder. And you can see it opens up a lot faster than what it was wirelessly. So for the best experience, again, nothing beats a cable. Same with wireless. I always say nothing beats a cable. Nothing beats having that straight copper connection. So this is what it looks like once again. Let me pull up, let me pull up maps and kind of do that pinch to zoom again. So you can see here, very, very responsive, super responsive when connected to the cable. When it comes to the touchscreen, this is a very high quality touchscreen. And of course, everything is fast. Dex experience is something I actually really like. The overall experience has been really pleasurable and enjoyable. The keyboard itself is flat. Now this took me a little bit of time and quite honestly, I'm still kind of trying to get used to it. It's like a flat keyboard setup. Once you get used to it, everything is, is just going to be perfect. Everything is going to be as you'd expect. And when it comes to the trackpad, guys, it's just a, it's a different type of texture that I'm used to. I, I can't really tell you what it is. I, I can't really pinpoint what I feel about this trackpad, but something about it just feels a tiny, tiny bit off. Now, again, if you're just kind of scrolling the web, and yes, you, it, it's multi-point as well, so you can use two fingers to kind of scroll up or scroll down. You do have a left and a right button as well, but it's just, I don't know what it is. The trackpad is just a little bit, 
something I'm not super used to. Now, the way I got around it is quite honestly, I just plugged in my USB mouse. So let me just show you that. I can plug in a USB, USB peripheral and I get a full functioning mouse. So when I had to do a lot of work, when I really had to get to the nitty and gritty and get a lot done, I most probably just prefer a mouse on, on an everyday basis. On my laptop as well, I use a mouse, so it might just be me, guys. I'm just not a trackpad type of person. And again, the trackpad is, is perfectly fine, works perfectly well. I just think the texture, maybe it's just the texture again, something like that is just a little bit off. But if you're used to trackpads and you own this, let me know what you think about it. Or if you do pick this up, let me know what you think about it. The buttons, buttons are fine. I mean, there's no issues with these buttons. You can double tap and open up your whatever you want to open up. This isn't going to be a full DEX type of video. Actually, you got some updates. Let's do an update as we're doing this. So I actually really like the laptop, guys. And I think if you're looking for a device that's going to replace your laptop, this is a really good option for you. There also is an OSD display. So you can see your battery level. And again, you saw me turn up or turn down the volume. You can also increase or decrease the brightness, just like that. Now, if you guys don't have a Samsung phone and you still want to get that kind of larger screen experience, you can still connect this to another phone. This happens to be my Huawei or an Honor. I think it's my Honor Magic. You'll be able to get that secondary kind of screen experience. You're not going to be able to you're really not going to be able to get all the goodness. Again, that's why I say this is more towards that Samsung DeX experience. But I like the versatility of it. I like the fact that I can use multiple devices with it. And that means if I'm out and about and someone has a cool video they want to show on their device, all I have to do is plug in a cable and we can all see it on a bigger screen. My experience has been more than pleasurable when it comes to the UDoc X 15.6 Pro. It has everything you would want in a laptop dock experience. You get wireless connectivity to your device if you want to use it. You can connect it to the wire. You have a 1080p full HD touch panel on the front with a really nice response time of 20 milliseconds. You also can wirelessly charge a device just like that. You get a full, full QWERTY keyboard. You get a touchpad with, with functioning buttons on it. You get all the ports that you'd want on the side here as well with really awesome battery life. So if you're looking to replace your laptop when it comes to just heading into the office a couple of days a week, or you just don't really need to buy a full laptop and you think you can use your phone for everyday, everyday tasks and activities, this is going to be the recommended product for me. I really think it's an awesome product and I'm going to continue to use it as my laptop experience on the go. I'm going to continue to use this as my work laptop. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. But if you were like me and kind of looking, looking for that accessory to, to help minimize your tech bag and really just get that full desktop laptop experience this product is for you catch you in another video